the world hurdle is next. This is the long distance hurdle. Three miler. Grade one of course. Uh, let's take a look at the list of runners as they come through. The rain's still coming down. And it's Brushford Lusdignan at the top for Stu Gray. Judge Dredd, Joshua Sutherland, Walt Luane for Stu Gray, Alfred Pound, Darren Thompson, Balmoral Castle for Paul Rhodes, Cowboys Lady, Leon Van Rensburg, Dance Around the Stars, Joshua Sutherland, Echo Bell, Alex Cherry, Fider Clyde, Padre Hogan, Long Beach, David Hooley, Mauritius, Darren Thompson and Michigan for Leon Van Rensburg. So just 12 in this then. One or two of the fancied runners may have opted for the earlier race and they're away and racing. And... Who's going to be the first to show? Looks like it might be Echo Bell as they come into the first of the 12th. And Echo Bell and Balmoral Castle just about landed together. Neither of them seem overly keen to make the pace. Velvet Curtain missing from this race, of course, would have been out there making the pace. But it's Balmoral Castle and Echo Bell who dispute it over the second. And they're all safely over the second with Alfred Pound now coming through to join Balmoral Castle as they really do play a game of after you Claude as they get into the third and they're all over the third safely with Brushford losing them just a back marker and Alfred Pound and Balmoral Castle are continuing to show the way about four or five lengths clear of the rest of them about five and a line share in third just about give it to Judge Dredd at this point as they get into the fourth Step over nicely. Balmoral Castle on the outside of Alfred Pound, Paul Rose, and Darren Thompson. Darren Thompson to the horse has now moved into third. Mauritius. Judge Dredd is next, then Walks Lane. Oh, Stu Gray. Good job on commentating on the earlier races for you. In towards the back, Long Beach. He is now the back market. Oh, it's Balmoral Castle. It's clear by two. Alfred Pound in second and Mauritius third, Waltz Lane is fourth, then Judge Dredd and Echo Bell with Cowboys Lady and Brushford losing them the, the grey, the only grey in the field. And Fighter Clyde, Michigan, Michigan is after that. With Dance Around the Stars and Long Beach as they skip over flight number five. The first of the three miles is now complete. Two more to go and Balmoral Castle decided to be the one to take them along as Alfred Pound drops back into the pack alongside Stablemate Mauritius and Judge Dredd and Waltz Luane and Echo Bell and Echo and Cowboys Lady as they come up past the stand and it's going to be Balmoral Castle it's been steadied into this next one Makes it nicely. We'll jump to one. A really good jump in second by Judge Dredd, who's moved to within three lengths of the leader now. As they start to swing left handed and head out into the country for a complete circuit of the Presbury Park track. And Balmoral Castle racing uphill leads by four lengths or so to Mauritius and Judge Dredd. Then Walt Luane and Alfred Pound, Echo Bell and Cowboys Lady. And Dance Around the Stars, Long Beach is getting a little bit closer. Fider Clyde is the one. It's just a couple of lengths off the pace at the back. We're racing up the back straight now. Balmoral Castle steps over flight number seven with a lead of about three lengths to Judge Dredd in second. And the Thompson pair together, Mauritius and Alfred Penn. Echo Bell running a big race on the outside and wider still Michigan starting to make a forward move. And they're all safely over that one, although Cowboys Lady, the second of the Leon Von Rensburg horses in the dark blue with a gold cap, made a mistake and is now the new back marker. Over nine they go, and Balmoral Castle continuing to lead. From Judge Dredd in second, and Alfred Pound and Mauritius. Michigan on the outside, Echo Bell just inside that one being squeezed for room with the Joshua Sullivan horse dance around the stars, that one's going to need a bit of a split, and being boxed in by his own horse at the moment. Bit of a gap then to Waltz Lazane. As they get over the third from home, and 
And Joshua Sutherland horse dancing around the stars did get a nice split there and has now got a clear run. But it's still Balmoral Castle in the lead from Mauritius in second and Alfred Pound in third. Michigan and Dance Around the Stars are next, then Echo Bell, then Judge Dredd. Then the one who's making progress in the back is Fider Clyde. So watch out for Long Beach. Those David Hooley hurdlers normally finish with a bit of a rattle. I would say Cowboys Lady and Brushford Lusignan are probably out of it, but they're coming down towards the second last flight now. And Balmoral Castle is two lengths clear. And kicking on for home again now as Mauritius just caught a bit flat-footed there. Michigan's trying to cover the run and has now moved into second and is getting closer to the leader. It's Balmoral Castle over the second last in front from Michigan in second. Mauritius is back in third. One or two of these haven't picked up at all as they race down towards the final three and a half furlongs. And it's Balmoral Castle who's been in the lead pretty much all the way. Now being joined by Michigan. These two have got a five-length advantage over Mauritius who's got a two-length advantage over Dance Around the Stars. They're pushing and pulling behind but the leading pair are clear and now Michigan comes upon the outside of Balmoral Castle it's Michigan and Balmoral Castle coming down towards the final flight of the world hurdle closest to us Michigan on the far side of the long time leader Balmoral Castle Michigan looks to be going the better as they come down towards the final flight now Michigan starts to assert steps over the final flight and pulls away and Mar Michigan is going to race into the final furlong with a clear lead as predicted Long Beach is finishing really well so too is Dance Around the Stars but I don't think they're going to get to this Michigan, although she's beginning to tie up, and then Post needs to come for Michigan, Michigan's hanging on, here comes Dance Around the Stars on Long Beach, Dance Around the Stars has got up to steal it, Dance Around the Stars steals the world hurdle on the line, and Michigan ran out of steam, and that one looked, you know, put your house on Michigan jump in the last, and well, I think it's got up anyway, it looks a bit closer than I thought there, but I'm pretty sure Dance Around the Stars has got up to take that. Thrilling finish to the world hurdle. Maybe not so. Oh, it's a dead heat. It's a dead heat. Well, there you go then. So maybe that's not such a bad resort for Leon Van Rensburg after all. So dance around the stars for Joshua Sullivan and Michigan for Leon Van Rensburg. Dead heated in the world hurdle. Three miles and they can't be... Can't split them at all. Long Beach for David Hooley was running on like a train as well in third. Judge Dredd for Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And Alfred Pound for Darren Thompson was fifth in an absolute thriller.